Welcome to the Crafty Crone Corner. I'm Willie, and I'm a Teemuholic. And this is my second in an ongoing series of T Tuesday Timu 12-step meetings. <laughs> um, I feel like I need a 12-step program for Timu, although I'm not really willing to give it up just yet. <laughs> Um, this video should be going up on Tuesday, July 11th. I think it's the 11th. Yes. This is one of several Timu hauls that I have in my house at the moment. And I just placed another order while sitting at my friend Tammy's house yesterday because she had some really cute sloth stuff that she got from Timu and the FOMO overtook me. And, and I mentioned it to her before I left. She's like, you ordered that today? And I'm like, yeah, sitting right here on your couch. <laughs> I obviously have a problem. Um, so at, at this meeting, I'm going to confess to the following purchases. These are all diamond painting related today. Some of the things I've ordered recently are not, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. Um, I unboxed one of these or unbagged one of these and it's sort of a pale green recently. Um, I just thought it was really cute. Although this one has a scratch across there and it, my nail catches on that. So, um, that's probably not going to be a tray that I actively use while diamond painting. I may use it as a trash tray, but it's this little plum short of, short of, short of? Plum sort of thing. <laughs> Very inexpensive. It actually comes with a stopper. And I, I have trouble getting the one in my little green tray. Is this one going to give me grief as well? Yep. It's probably user error. It's probably not the tray. Um, I, I've probably mentioned 5,000 times that I have crap hands. Oh, it sort of goes in sideways, and then do you twist it? Struggle bus! <laughs> anyway, it comes with a stopper. I'll figure that out later. It's Timu. It was very inexpensive. I'm not going to mention prices because I will put links in the description box if for any items that are still in stock. Prices tend to change on Timu. So what I paid for something on Timu might not be what you pay for something on Timu. This next item I just thought was adorable and I may take these to work with me once I finish them up for door prizes, for the games that some of our folks play on Fridays and wow a whole lot of plastic went into this this is kind of sad I think I've mentioned before this is the one thing that kind of gives me the blues about diamond painting is that there's so much plastic so many little plastic bags and cover sheets and things involved with diamond painting and it, it feels very wasteful at times but these are just little flat ornaments, kind of on heavy cardstock. And you drill the ornaments. These are very festive little Christmas things. Oh, look at this. I might keep the snowflake for myself. <laughs> Actually, these would be cute to hang around my office as well. Oh, a gingerbread man. I love gingerbread man. Oh. These are very cute. These will work up very quickly. They look like so much fun. They come with a fairly standard toolkit, pink pen, plate of wax, a couple of baggies, and a green row, row, row your boat. It also comes with some gold tone cord that you can cut and put through the holes. Can you see the hole? There in Santy's head, actually Santy's hat, not his head, but there's a hole there where you can string the cord through. And these are mostly crystals. 
So these will shine quite nicely. Oh, and I don't know if you can see, we have a special shape there. But those will be cute. And again, it's Timu, very inexpensive. So that's something I'll be making closer to the holidays and we can give them out at work as prizes. This, I, I think I saw somebody unbag this, so I started to look for these on Timu. I have most of these kits now. I haven't ordered all of them yet in the original 40 by 40 centimeter version, canvas size. And I have completed the 40 by 40 October canvas. So I saw these in the smaller sizes. These are 20 by 20 centimeters as opposed to the original 40 by 40. They're dessert cups. If you haven't seen these, a lot of the budget friendly companies have these in the original 40 by 40 size, one for every month. And each month is themed. The dessert cup and, and the phrasing, this says boo, um, is themed to what's going on in that particular month. Um, a number of people have collected all of them. I've collected most of them at this point. October is the only one I've actually finished. So I wanted to do a size matters video <laughs> and it'll probably be toward October where I will complete this one and show it next to the original and just see what kind of detail you lose when you go down in size, how much detail you gain when you go up in size. So this is a 20 by 20. Again, you can see the wide border here. So that's definitely not the image size. Do I have my ruler handy? I've been knocking all kinds of stuff on the floor here lately. Let's see, that's inches. We want centimeters, please. The actual image size is 15 centimeters. And the canvas size is 20 centimeters. So, I mean, this will be something that will be very quick. Nice little snack size to work up. But again, I want to do a size comparison since I had finished the October one already and and my I have one of those interchangeable hanging frames and the, the my plan is to eventually um, change them out hang them in my office and change them out but I'm, I'm curious to see how the smaller ones translate so that's why I bought that again it comes with your standard toolkit pink pen green boat plate of wax all you need really to do this and it comes with round drills. Nothing special, just your standard round drills. That's okay. Let me put this to the side since my filling space is not um, very large. My apologies if I've seen somebody else unbag these and I don't give them credit. I watch a lot of diamond painters, especially their Timu hauls. So I might not remember if I've already seen these somewhere else and then run to add them to my Timu cart. So my apologies. I love Manomis. I'm already thinking about fall and winter because I'm tired of the heat in July already. Um, but isn't this adorable? It's three little holiday gnomes in little, I think coffee cups, but let's call them hot cocoa mugs since we're looking at winter time this is just a little 30 by 20 canvas again nice little snack size it will work up quickly and i just thought it was adorable because i love me some gnomies you'll you'll see keep watching <laughs> just with this order <laughs> again standard toolkit all you need to do this and we've got some pretty blues in the drill package for this. Again, that's gonna work up quickly and be very satisfying. I like me some snack size things. If I'm going through a phase where my adult attention disorder is kicking in and I can't really pay attention to anything for a long time, something like that is perfect. This, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. I Another thing that I love is the stained glass effect. 
This is a 30 by 40 canvas size seahorse in front of like a stained glass window. Um, this is going to have a lot of dark colors, but I just loved that stained glass effect. For once, 310 is not W. <laughs> As somebody whose name starts with a W or a W, if you're British, um, I get tired of them W's. Uh, this has 17 colors. Standard uh, key down in the bottom right, top left. Let's check the stick. I didn't check the stick on the others. Yep, that will do. Alphanumeric code. I Again, I just thought that was gorgeous. I love the blues and there's like some pinky purples in there too. Let's take a look at the drills. Standard toolkit. All you need. I don't know if we're going to see. We've got, oh yay, two bags of black. <laughs> Every now and then you need a break from the 310s, folks. Ooh, there's a kind of a lavendery lilac-y color. Some blues, a darker purple. And what color is that? That's a dark, that's a very deep color. That's 823. Is that a purpley? Is that a purpley? I can't tell. Lighting's not real great in here, folks. So, pretty seahorse with that stained glass effect. Now, I do remember seeing somebody unbag this one. I, I don't remember if it was Sweet Tea or somebody else, but this is gonna be a cute little fall project. I, let me show you the thumbnail because it's a little hard to tell from the canvas itself. It's a little fox on its back in some fall leaves. Now, I see something that makes me not happy, but you know, hopefully the drills will be the right size. This has training wheels or guide circles, whatever you want to call them. As long as the drills cover that little circle, I'm okay with it. We'll see. But I thought that was a cute project for fall and he just looks so happy rolling around in the leaves, having a good old time. He comes, oh, and he does not have, he only has one legend in the upper left corner. 19 colors. You can see there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a whole lot of color. Got a whole lot of color blocking. Sorry, Led Zeppelin. All apologies. Um, basic toolkit with some baggies. Oh, and something stuck to it from the packing process. Round drills. And you can see the color blocking. We've got a whole lot of that whitish. Let's see, that's 38.65 as I suspected. That's 38.65s there. This actually does not have any 310s, yes. <laughs> So when we need a break from the 310s, maybe we'll pull this out. Oh, it's got a little bit of pink and some rosy colors down here. But again, your standard drills. It does have DMC codes on them. So if you save your spares. I, I've been bagging up some of my spares. I'm working on, on my stash um, of spare drills. And, I, you know, I'm finding that some of the same numbers aren't actually the same shade. So I need more than one bag <clears throat> for some of them. Apologies, let me take a sip of my coffee. Ooh, that's cooling down, I need to warm it up. Okay, speaking of monomies, isn't that adorable? Again, apologies if, if somebody else has already bagged, uh, unbagged. <laughs> this. It's Sunday. I'm very relaxed. My, my, my words aren't coming so easily, but it's a cute little sort of nighttime scene. Let it snow, let it snow. And three gnomies with little, 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 little snowmen. 
my goodness. Let me find the, uh, I don't know that that's going to focus really well on the thumbnail, but I just thought this was adorable, you know, and Nomi's with, with, you know, a snowman. I'm going to let it snow. This is a great winter project. Not necessarily Christmassy. It's wintry. I've got a full moon up there. And this sort of twilight winter night theme really appealed to me. Now again, we've got training wheels, guide circles, whatever you want to call them. But again, as long as the drills are large enough to cover those circles, it's not a problem. The problem comes sometimes with, with these inexpensive canvases, these budget-friendly canvases where the drills aren't quite big enough to cover the circle, and then you have some concerns. Uh, 21 colors. We've got the legend at the bottom right, top left. The drill field looks clear. Everything is alphanumeric. Hopefully everything will work well once I'm working on the canvas. Again, a standard toolkit with a couple of baggies. Not enough for you to kit up if you want to do that, um, but you can use them as you'd like. Round drills. We've got DMC codes. Again, no 310s. Yes. <laughs> I just get tired of them sometimes, do you? But all sorts of different colors. I just, I think that one's going to be really pretty when it's done. We've got two more, folks. Another Gnome. And another winter Gnome. Snuggle up, Gnomies. It's cold outside. And then the, the little muggy here that says get cozy. And it's got that those nice wintry blues. 30 by 40 canvas size. This one has 21 colors. We've got the legend at the bottom right, top left. We also have two thumbnails. That's nice. I don't see that very often. We also have training wheels. <laughs> But again, I thought this one was really cute. And, and I'm tired of summer. I'm really tired of it. Good stick. So isn't that cute? I love me some gnomies. I, I think there's still a gnome vember event happening this year where you can pull out all of your gnome canvases and get your gnomies on. Round drills. Lots of blues. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. That's one of my favorite shades of blue. I like a sort of royal slash cobalt blue. Some mint, minty green there. Some pale lavender. Yeah, that will be fun to work up. And now I've got a thing from clueless rolling through my head when they, they sing the rolling with the homies rolling with the gnomies I'm sorry if I could edit it I'd edit it out standard toolkit which is all you need that's it. I'm trying to tell if that's the harder wax or the softer wax I think it's the softer wax and finally more packing schmutz yay um, I have a thing Van Gogh's Starry Night. If you've watched the channel for any length of time, you've probably heard me dr drabble on about that. I'm getting all the Van Gogh variants that I can find. This may be a little bit harder to tell because the subject in the middle is also blue and all of these wonderful swirl of blues. This is Doctor Who's TARDIS, which is a blue police call box. I saw this and had it, it, it no, it, I didn't have to have it. It jumped into my cart. I didn't have anything to do with it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, the TARDIS caught up in a swirl of, of Van Gogh's Starry Night. This looks like it will be confetti heaven. There is, is a bit of color blocking 
in through here. It's got the wu for the three tens. Yeehaw. It does not have guide circles. <clears throat> I'm hoping the wu or the w's are compressed enough that the round drills cover them. That can be a problem. The, if the drills aren't large enough, no matter how you center them, you get a little piece of the, the W sticking out. Um, this says 30 by 40 canvas size. Obviously, it's actually 40 by 30. <clears throat> 20 colors, all alphabetic symbols. That can be problematic. Let's see. Okay, good. It looks like our B and our E are different shades. Our O and our G are different shades. What else can be problematic? The F and the E are different shades. I'm looking for things that can be kind of confusing if they're similar shades and next to one another. The P and the B are different shades. The K and the B. This looks like it's going to be fine. If I ever want to host an event of my own, it might be a, a Van Gogh event, just so I can start working on all of these uh, Starry Night variations that I have. I do have one that I finished um, last year uh, during October. As you can tell, this is going to have lots of shades of yellow and blue. So we've got that pretty sort of little, kind of a muted mint green. We've got some blues in there, some oranges for the sun and moon, lots of blues. We do have three tens, but they're not showing at the moment. This wonderful deep blue, glare, glare, go away. Oh, one of these days I'll figure out lighting. But those are the drills. I It came with a standard toolkit. I managed to knock it on the floor before I started filming. So, friends and fellow Timu addicts, this is my latest haul. Again, I have more to show you. But those will be for another Tuesday meeting. Um, talk to me about your Timu addiction. Have you ordered any of these particular kits? Have you worked on any of these particular kits? What's your favorite thing to look for on Timu? Do you not have a Timu problem yet? If, if you don't, don't order from them, because I think if you order from them, you're going to be uh, sitting in on these Tuesday meetings for a while, because <laughs> their prices are just so good. <laughs> but thank you so much, friends, for joining me on this latest Timu, uh, the, this latest Tuesday Timu 12-step unbagging. Uh, please feel free to like comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. I am so thrilled to have new subscribers turning up. Welcome. I hope you'll hang with me. And remember, if you have a YouTube channel, tell me about it in the comments or email me. I usually include my email in the description box because I would love to visit your channel and show it some love. That's not really heart-shaped, is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, my hands are really hurting today. Um, but thanks again for visiting. There are so many other channels out there, and it means the world to me that you spend some time with me every now and then. So remember, for now, stay safe, stay well, and try to find time every single day to do something that makes you smile. Until the next time, friends, bye-bye.